What I love about these films is that they take you to places that most of us never visit. Places like the wilds of Alaska or rock climbing up a 400 foot cliff in Utah or running with wild horses in Canyon de Chez. This film is a celebration of the outdoor world of nature and wilderness and of the overwhelming evidence that shows how much we benefit from spending time in nature. Over 20,000 years ago, not a single human being had ever seen this pristine continent. I've worked with McGillive Ray Freeman films before, and I have incredible admiration for the experiences they create for audiences. They take these enormous IMAX cameras into remote places to create these visually powerful experiences that makes you fall in love with the world all over again. When you spend time in nature, whether it's in a wilderness or in a city park, you slow down for a bit, you reflect, you recharge. IMAX has the power to put you in these places and make you feel like you're actually there. And I'm excited to get to be a part of it. McGillivray Freeman's Into America's Wild, a film for IMAX and giant screen theaters. We can't expect kids to protect something that they don't care about. If they fall in love with Mother Nature, the rest is easy. America's Wilderness is special, partly because people think they know it, and there's just so much more to discover. Our new film, Into America's Wild, takes audiences into the natural wonders of our land. We filmed all over the United States to get the beauty and the inspirational magic of America's wild. What we want to do is inspire kids of all ages to get out into nature, to be reconnected to the earth in a new and vibrant way. The biggest surprise, I think, was finding our two main characters. John Harrington, the first Native American to go into space. Also, Ariel Tweedo from Alaska, who's pretty well known from the TV show that was on Discovery Channel for three years. She uses her skill in communication to try to help kids to motivate themselves and to find their path in life. All kids need inspiration, and I want them to be curious about the world and the people that live in this world. You look over the edge of the Earth and you realize how thin our atmosphere really is. Our planet is fragile. We can't expect kids to protect something they don't care about. You know, if they fall in love with Mother Nature, the rest is easy. And so if we can do that, what a fabulous thing. I think the biggest challenge of making the movie is finding places that haven't been seen a million times. From the scenic byways to the ancient homelands to the hidden trails that form the tapestry of America, we really want to connect audiences to the trailblazers in all of us. We went to the biggest balloon festival in the world hiking down Oregon's coast or traveling up the Appalachian Trail. We went to a wonderful aspen grove, largest living organism on the planet. Thousands of trees with a common root system. 
that connects them. IMAX takes you there like no other medium. You really feel like you're experiencing that place, potentially for the first time. Every time I sit down and watch one of our films in an IMAX theater, I get that same sensation that I got while I was there shooting it. That's what I want to convey to the audience, that wonder of being there. One of the most important things about my job as a film composer is the storytelling component. For this film in particular, we talked about trying to capture some of the natural Americana feel. Folk instruments, guitars, shakers, and mandolins. So we have a pretty neat blend and we go in and out of them. We recorded a children's choir. One of the opportunities that that brought was to be able to mic them in really interesting ways. So typically, for a non-IMAX film, you might mic them in a traditional way, but in this case, we put microphones in the back of the room and in different positions so that when we put it all together in the final mix, we could really get this amazing surround perspective. I think there's one voice that is the most iconic narrator voice in the world. That voice is Morgan Freeman's voice. And so we're so excited to have him on board. Ariel will fly across the country meeting new people. That first stop is in Oregon. I've worked with Matt Guillory Freeman films before, and I have incredible admiration for the experiences they create for audiences. They take these enormous IMAX cameras into remote areas to create these visually powerful experiences that makes you fall in love with the world all over again. We have so much to be thankful for on this planet, and we're the caretakers. The value of nature is far more important to us than we ever imagined. I think it's gonna inspire a lot of people to wanna get outdoors and see it for themselves.